Hello, this is a very short video that should be you one habit that you could adopt for your success should you choose to do so. Now, the habit that I'm going to be talking about is saying be flexible with spontaneity. Be flexible with spontaneity. I will explain to you what I mean by being flexible with spontaneity, but before I do that, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Gwyneth, and what do I do, you ask? Well, what, what I do is that I share daily videos on social media platform, and what do I, what's the content? The content is one habit that you can adopt for your success. Now today, we're talking about you being flexible with spontaneity. Now, when I'm talking about spontaneity, I'm talking about those moments whereby you just, a thought just comes through your mind, and you're like, yes! Let's do that without planning, without preparation. Or someone invites you to a certain event or invites you to do something that you haven't planned for and you're like, uh, I'm not too sure because I need to plan for it, maybe I need to get this, I need to do that, I need to do that. It's just being flexible with that. I'll explain to you just three reasons why I am saying adopt that habit of being flexible with the spontaneity. One of them being that it's just you going to develop resilience. What do I mean by you going to develop resilience? I'm talking about in a situation whereby you are not sure what the outcome is or you're not sure what is going to happen, you then are open to being flexible you are then open to you know what whatever happens happens because you know at the end of the day you do not know of the outcome and because you do not know of the outcome you are flexible in your mind and as you become flexible with your mind guess what happens you will grow because let's take for example someone says ah Guess what I saw? I saw a beach jump around the corner. Would you like to come to the beach? But like, yeah, sure. But you didn't prepare for the beach. But when you go there, as you journey towards the beach or when you arrive at the beach, guess what you're going to uh, see? Most of you not only are going to see the beach, that's an obvious thing, but what I'm saying is you're going to see that you're going to adopt uh, in such a way that you're going to go find ways of enjoying that experience or you might find or you see something that you might like and you think to yourself, yeah, I never thought of this. So that is the growth that I'm talking about. So it's something that you didn't know about before, you will know about it as you journey or as you experience that big scenario. This is just an example. Now, as you grow, not only will you grow in the way you will do things that you wouldn't have normally done before, but you will also grow, now I'm talking about the second point here, you will grow in your creativity. You see, as you are getting towards the beach, you will think of ways of enjoying. So as you are thinking, uh -huh, thinking you're actually um, yeah, growing more in your brain, the neurons, it's all happening, the growth part of things and the creativity. And not only will you expand, your way of thinking because you've been exposed to this new situation, hopefully, but even if it's a similar situation, maybe it's the beach you've been there before, but a lot of the times when you're going to a certain place, there has been one or two changes, especially if you've been there for some time, or even if you've been there, there's always one or two things or elements that change there meaning you might start having other new ideas, other fresh ideas. And when you start having new fresh ideas or new things to look forward to, could be maybe you might end up looking forward to it. Meaning that you will not be uh, bored or now you have something that you have got in your bag to share with the next person. You And when you've got something in the, in your, in the bag, how to share with the next person, what does it do? Giving me the third reason. You will gain more confidence as you gain more confidence in sharing about your personal experiences. You are able to connect with more people. You're able to flow easily in those conversations because you're not having to make up stories. You're actually talking about things that have happened in your life or you're talking about real life experiences. And therefore you don't have to be thinking, oh, I don't need to remember that. Oh, I 
need to say that. So now, I'll share with you three reasons why it's good for you to be flexible in spontaneous situations. So we say that you can develop resilience, you can develop creativity, you can actually develop confidence in uh, your conduct with other people if you actually have this just a bonus which is kind of like ripped around in the last one now as you gain confidence you're able to talk to other people you know uh, making those networks that's it for today's show i hope you have gained something if you haven't that's still okay maybe in tomorrow's video you might gain something but for now it's time for me to say goodbye so before i say goodbye i'd like to appreciate it everyone that has subscribed to uh, this channel those that are joining for the first time truly appreciate you thank you so much and those that have continued to share the content please do so share the content if you know in your heart of hearts that this content is going to benefit someone feel free to share it but if you know it's not going to benefit anyone or it's just intended for something not good please don't do that because that's not what i'm all about that's not what this is all about this is about making sure that someone is benefiting and they're becoming a better person as a result i think i've said too much about that one just want to appreciate you that's it really and i'd like to wish you the best in your lives and endeavors and i want to say to you god bless you up until you see me in tomorrow's video wish you all the best